the polls are tightening. We are winning like almost everywhere. The electoral map is shifting. If people who support our positive, inclusive, unifying vision vote, we win. And while Donald Trump still faces a narrow path to the White House, analysts say he has a real shot of winning. We're seeing the race close. We've got to be nice and cool, nice and cool. Right, stay on point, Donald, stay on point. The president believes that Director Comey is a man of integrity, he's a man of principle, and he's a man of good character. These same character traits are what led a strong majority of Democratic and Republican senators to confirm him to this job. These are the traits that led the president to select him to be the director of the FBI. Well, after FBI Director James Comey recommended against indicting Hillary Clinton, or charges, that is to say, and considered the investigation into her email over back in July, he was reportedly overwhelmed with resignation requests and regret. This according to a close source of Comey's who spoke to writer Ed Klein, who joins us right now live. His book is called Guilty of as sin. Ed, nice to have you. Great to be here. Okay. Um, so ever since July, apparently the, the rank and file FBI agents were really steamed at him, and inside the FBI, the, to the atmosphere is toxic. When James Comey would walk down the hallways of the FBI and say good morning, right. people wouldn't talk back to him. That's how bad things had been in the FBI. There's a sense that, the, that he disgraced the institution and brought it down. And he has been suffering because this is a guy who is an evangelical Catholic who gets down on his knees every night and prays to God. Mm -hmm. He has this sense of moral rectitude. He thinks that he knows what's right. And it, it, put, him, it put him in a, in a uh, direction that actually mm -hmm. was a, a disaster for him and the, and the institution. So if he had a do-over, would he have uh, suggested charges? I think he would have because... Yeah. According to my sources, he and his wife, Patrice, who are very, very close, not only in their marriage, but in his professional life, she has been telling him, Jim, you did the wrong thing. You've got to do, redeem yourself yeah. somehow. So when he learned about the emails in Anthony Weiner's laptop, mm -hmm. he jumped at the chance sure. to reopen this case. He jumped at the chance sure. to reopen this case. He jumped at the chance sure. to reopen this case. Florida because, Attorney General Van uh, Bondi with us right now. And Attorney General, I'm telling you, it, it gets curiouser and curiouser. Now, uh, many argue cynically that, uh, you know, Comey locked himself into his own little corner here. Uh, because he reopened this or, or announced this reprobe, whatever you want to call it, last week, he was obliged to update us if something had changed or, or, or whatever. And the change was that no, nothing in those uh, emails, at least that had been detected off of Anthony Weiner's server, uh, looked worthy enough to change the original read not to pursue a criminal case against Hillary Clinton. What do you make of that? Well, Neil, this confirms everything Donald Trump's been saying about the system. The system is dysfunctional, the system is broken, and Hillary Clinton is the system. And bear with me for a second on, and, and I know like we're all still trying to... But you liked that last week, right, though, uh, Attorney General? Many Republicans did because they thought the system was finally going their way. Now it reverses this love-hate relationship that Mr. Comey seems to engender with... <laughs> With both well, and, parties, and this isn't right? about this isn't about director. Co this is the entire system in D.C. Neil, and think about the way that was crafted. And again, I know we're all still trying to digest it, but he's referring back to his July conference about the emails. So let's look at it in the light most favorable to Hillary Clinton. So he's still saying she was extremely careless. No one who is extremely careless with classified emails can have a security clearance, especially the President of the United States well, of America. Well, by the way, you hit on a theme that Paul Ryan, the Speaker, all, just echoed in a At least I'm coming to the conclusion, to that conclusion is the wrong word, to open to the possibility Donald Trump could be the next President of the United States. <laughs> the crowd. So, I just said it's a possibility. They're cheering on it. No, look, Florida, I. 
believed as we sat down here at six o'clock tonight that Hillary Clinton was going to take it. I think a lot of us bought into the idea that Hispanics were going to be the difference, big surge. Now we're counting votes. I mean, now we're down to single votes. This could go either way. Uh, North Carolina could go either way. Uh, Ohio could go either way. New Hampshire could go either way. Look, I think you'd still rather be in Clinton's position than Trump's as we sit here right now. But you can certainly write a scenario. He has not lost any state that he must have. He's, he's competitive and within the margin of error in a lot of states that I think we thought she was going to put away, he could be our next president. I Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Sorry to keep you waiting. Complicated business. Complicated. It's almost 3 o'clock in the morning, Central Time. And we now have President-elect Donald Trump. Donald Trump is no angel. And neither am I. But Donald Trump's will is that you be prosperous and that you be successful. Donald Trump is not satanic. Donald Trump is not satanic. Donald Trump is not satanic. I was talking to one of my homeboys, the deacon. He's the deacon of this church. And he was like, how come I haven't done any videos talking about the election? And he was new to my channel at the time. So obviously he hasn't seen all of my videos. And many of you who've been following me, you know I've touched on this political thing here and there. But as far as this political crap, he said, she said, it's all crap. It's all fake. It's a show. You have a bunch of actors who are just simply here to perform for you. I noticed over the last six to 12 months, as people who I've been listening to for years, they know about the Illuminati. They know about cloning. They know about Bible prophecy. They know the elections are rigged. They know the president is selected, not elected. Yet many of these people who I've been listening to for years, they started talking about Donald Trump and they like, hey, yeah, see the elite, they can't control Donald Trump. He's not a part of this Illuminati. But how can that be? I mean, is he not a part of the Illuminati because we never saw his eyes turn black? Is he not a part of the Illuminati because his rhetoric is against everything that they stand for? Some people are like, yeah, see Donald Trump, he's one of us. Yeah, he's a celebrity and he's a billionaire. I can see how he's one of us. Of course, like I've mentioned this before, people always want proof. But like I said before, things that my brothers and sisters in Christ talk about happening and going to happen, even when these things manifest themselves and turn out to be 100% true, people still don't believe. So unfortunately, more times than not, our proof is based on common sense. And unfortunately, most people don't have common sense. So other than the hand gestures and the fact that he's rich and a celebrity, what is the proof that he's a part of the Illuminati? Well, let's see. He's the president elect. Out of everything the Illuminati has done throughout all these years with their subliminal messages through television and movies, spraying of the chemtrails, poison us with the food, the water, taking our jobs, destroying our families, throwing people in jail for not paying their bills, arresting people for selling drugs when they got the drugs from them in the first place, vaccines, satanic music, the destruction of the Twin Towers, the Patriot Act, the National Defense Authorization Act, not to mention this racial crap that they keep putting in everybody's face. Do people really believe that the Illuminati would allow somebody who actually cares about us 
to slip into their political game and fuck up their plans. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Judgment Day has not been canceled. Barack Obama is not the savior and neither is Donald Trump. I spoke about this before in the video I put out called The Antichrist, how Fox News and MSNBC paved the way for Obama. These individuals and these groups, whether you want to call them Esau, Bilderberg, NWO, the Khazars, these bloodlines, whether it's the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, CFR, most of these people do have genuine hate between each other. But these individuals, these groups, certain races, they all work for this nigga. Yep, Satan. And I know it's very difficult for many people to accept this because, hey, this is just something they created to keep you in fear and to keep you in control. And of course, they would always make jokes about this in Hollywood through the movies, the television or whatever to make you believe that this is just a fictional character. One of my favorite movies is The Usual Suspects. And in that movie, the dude was like, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he don't exist. All of these people, the celebrities who sold out, the politicians and whoever, all of these people work for Satan. And no matter how these people feel about each other, they all play in a role to keep you deceived, to keep you distracted, and to keep you involved in their political game. Now here you have Lady Gaga hanging out with the Clintons, and she's supporting Hillary Clinton. Yet a few years ago, here she is at the Ecuadorian embassy paying a little visit to Julian Assange the same person who put out all this information with WikiLeaks about Hillary Clinton. Now, he's supposedly a wanted man by the United States government. And here you have this Illuminati witch from the U.S. who's allowed to pay him a visit while he's locked up, while he's locked up in the Ecuadorian embassy. She probably went there to be like, hey, everything's going well. You're doing a good job. We're deceiving the people. Keep up the good work. Probably even casting a spell here too. I remember Yashkara said years ago, a witch ain't none but a female demon. And I'm like, if you don't get this right now, I swear to Lucifer, I'm gonna, you know, I get a little bit mad. I'm like, if you don't get this right now, I swear to Lucifer, I'm gonna, you know, I get a little bit mad. The Illuminati put all this information out about Hillary Clinton so that everybody can run to Donald Trump. Now, many people think that everything's okay. Everybody's relaxed. And now the Illuminati is going to suck all that energy out of you. Just like they did with Obama. Just like they did with September 11th. Among many other things. Presidents are selected, not elected. So whether the president was Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton, it didn't matter. Because they all work for this nigga. Sorry, America, you just got played again. But don't forget, we still have a third option. Hey, 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 hey. Listen up. Hey, everybody, everybody, hey, hey, listen up. Hey, I told you to be focused, and you're not focused right now. Listen to what I'm saying. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. First of all, first of all, we let, hold up.
Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. Yeah, hell, you shit.